Welcome back to oh, another Lord. episode of Basic Banter for Witches. Welcome. We're so excited We're to have you. We're happy you came you. back. Exactly. Ah, Thank you. And Each week. we are so excited. We are so excited for tonight because we have not just one, but two amazing special guests. Two we are beautiful so souls. Excited. I know. We are so excited I to love have it. Yes, we've, today, well, this week, I guess, we've got Sierra Jade and we've got Jen with Little Wonders and Wonder and Whimsy events here in Saskatoon. Yes. And I guess Canada wide almost, there. I'd say. You've got oh, your hand. They both are Canada wide. Yeah. 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 These are two most like powerful women that are going to take over the world. They are just, <laughs> they're in the this like sweet spot that Seriously. they're just going to take the fuck off right away. No, so absolutely. we are so excited to have them both with us right now. <laughs> yes, I know. Seriously. I am so thankful that you guys said yes, because you guys have a lot of, I mean, your followings are huge, but like your impact on people yeah. around you is like what impresses me the most is you guys are, I mean, I've met you, I've had the privilege of sitting in the same room with you guys. And it is yeah. like, you are just, you're normies like us, normie witches, like, you know, yeah. whatever, as normal as one can be. Yeah. Right. But it is like, you guys are just, you're like, I'm speechless. You guys are just that wonderful. Yeah. To yeah, be in your presence sweet. is just Thank you. freaking awesome. So. <laughs> yeah, I think I think we're getting I'm getting overhyped here. I'm no, like, no, yeah. no, not at all. <laughs> That's imposter syndrome talking. Exactly. You guys are fucking amazing. Exactly. Yeah. Also, <laughs> so this is so clear- so pumped. Yeah, exactly. I was gonna say, speak freely. You guys can swear on this podcast. Fuck what they say. Perfect. So oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> just so you know, <laughs> in case you're like, if you don't like to swear, then that's too bad. <laughs> exactly. No. And that's when like two or three people tune out and that's fine. They'll be back. We know they will be. So it's all good. Yeah. So yeah, we really were just curious to have you guys on. Um, the reason we chose you two is because we did a course together, all four of us. And we felt like as a little, like four pack here, we had just like an amazing time together. And I think because that was like a significant part in our journeys, mm-hmm. um, we just would really like to see where you guys are at and, you know, kind of learn a little bit more about you and how you got into kind of everything, right? Cause yeah. you guys both have different relationships with, you know, the spiritual side of things um, and you kind of use them differently in your lives. So, I mean, would you like to share yeah. a little so, bit about this? <laughs> yeah, if you both can share how you both, even like your you know, your journeys where you started to where you were or how we all got together for taking our, t- our tarot class together. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So then do you want to yeah. start? Um, I started getting into all of the juju woo woo stuff, probably it was early 2015. So it was just after mm-hmm. my divorce. Um, I'd gone back into counseling and was kind of dealing with all like the past and it was going really well, but it just felt like I was not, I don't want to say overwhelmed, but it was just like a lot of talking about the past and where it was going to take me, but I was like, where is it going to take me? And so I just randomly, well, I want to, nothing's random. Yeah. <laughs> um, I, saw, <laughs> uh, I saw a Facebook post that someone had commented on a psychic from Saskatoon's Facebook post. And I was like, oh, what was this? I'd never thought that I would ever see a psychic. Um, I almost didn't go and her kind of kickstarted everything. Like we had this amazing session. I left in tears and like the best way possible. Mm-hmm. And even then I was like, you know what? Even if these people who don't believe are right, none of this is real like it just gave me this hope and then like one after the other these things just started coming through and I kept going back and she got me into trying crystals and then she was like okay now try Reiki and then it just kept snowballing from there I just fell in love with all of it oh that's cool I love that nice so cool and now um you have you done any Reiki training yourself yeah, I have my level two. Um, it was more out of curiosity. I was just, I was really enjoying the sessions and how they were going and how I felt after. And it was more my, like how my brain works. I just wanted to understand what was fully happening. Um, mm-hmm. And I just wanted to know all the things. And I wasn't sure if I would ever take clients on, but I was like, well, it, you know, I can Reiki myself or Reiki the kids, the dog. Um, and yeah, I still have never taken clients on. I don't think that that's part of my journey, but I liked the course and just kind of understanding how it all worked. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Nice. So what made you decide that you would like to teach tarot? Oh, I was trying to think about that this week after you asked me to do the podcast and like, I can't remember 
a defining moment. I think it was more people would hear that I took a course, which again, it was not to take clients. It was just because I wanted to yeah. know about the things. Yeah. Um, and I really enjoyed having readings done and people just found out, I'm like, Oh, you're certified. Like, can we, can we get a reading? Can we get a reading? And they would ask questions. And I was just like, you know, I should really start doing this for like the back and forth of give and take. And I was like, Absolutely. maybe I can start teaching people to do this for themselves and then they can teach. And I've no had kidding students go on to open their own businesses and stuff so that's that's super cool I love that that's so I love cool. that because you indirectly like started to create your own coven oh. <laughs> yeah whether you meant to or not you're like little wonders little coven little coven <laughs> exactly yeah <laughs> no kidding. wonder and whimsy wonder and coven no just kidding wonder and whimsy <laughs> whimsical whimsy. Yeah. yeah wonder and magic I don't know magic I love it. it's all good it. yeah amazing there was a reason that you were drawn to it and you're so amazing at it. So yeah. we, we love so it. Good. We, yeah. we can't pump up that class enough. That's for yeah. sure. Yeah. We'll yeah get- and that was, that was my first class teaching again after quite a long break. So it was, oh. it kind of kickstarted me again. And I taught another girl since then as well. That's so amazing. Yeah. That's awesome. And have, gonna- have you had more, cause I know you had posted a little while ago on your Instagram that um, if there was interest, would anyone want to kind of go further? And did you have a positive like um uh, I had with readings, um I had a couple ladies message asking if I taught I think they kind of just saw the readings part of it um so there might be another course that I'll that I'll offer down the road she wanted to see if she could get a few more people because it was just her and one other person right mm, now so nice, nice. Yeah. but no I'm definitely open to start teaching again more so I would like to continue just doing readings I started mm-hmm. doing them every Sunday oh, um well but yeah once every couple months I wouldn't mind doing teaching again so Amazing. I love that. Good for you. That is Perfect. freaking awesome. And so Miss Sierra, you joined us in the last class that we were able to do. I think it was May ish. Maybe. I, I think remember. it was back in like February. Yeah. It, yeah, it February. was quite a bit earlier. Yeah. I don't know. I don't even know. <laughs> I, the concept of time. I don't know. I think it's I, it's Everybody Tuesday, right? A firm. It is Tuesday today. So I don't know. I can <laughs> go back. I'm sure it's there, but anyway, so now, I mean, obviously months have passed. Um, like, did you know Jen prior to joining the course or how did you get involved with all of this? What's your, yeah, history? I didn't, What's your I didn't know Jen. It? Yeah. I knew Jen prior to the, the course and her and I had met at another event in the city, um, and kind of can connected from there. And then, um, I remember just sitting around in her living room, kind of like drinking wine and stuff like that. And then she brought all her, out all her card decks and there was the a box couple other, oh, of it was great. things. Oh, it was I awesome. Love it. Um, I love it. and Jen's readings, honestly, hers is probably one of my favorite ones I've had done. And, um, she was just so intuitive and so many things that were hitting the mark and, um, just, yeah, I could just relate to so much of it. And honestly, even just sitting, cause we were sitting in a group, I think there was three other, two other girls than me, no three. Um, and she, she was pretty tired. I feel like at the end of that, because her, her readings were big. Um, but she, she did a really good job and I could just see the looks on the other girls' faces, kind of almost like giving hope to the future. And I feel like that kind of relates back to both mine and Jeff's story of why we decided to get into kind of the more spiritual mm. stuff. So yeah. Nice. Oh, I that's, love it. That's really cool. I love so that. Since, since the class, have you been able to do much with your cards or anything since then? Um, just I well, of course, when you finish a course, like you're on a high and you're like, yeah. I'm gonna I'm do, gonna do all the things. And, yeah. I'm reading all these people. <laughs> So that lasted for a couple days. Um, nice. But honestly, honestly, for me, readings can be really energy draining. Yes. And yeah. um, there's been a lot going on in like my personal and professional life that I felt like I just didn't definitely didn't have the energy to put into other people's readings. Um, but I still definitely very much um, listen to readings. Like one of my favorite tarot readers is the tarot priest on YouTube. She's yes, yes. Oh, yeah. Um, and she's like how I first got into long ago. And, um, I listened to sad though. She hasn't actually, she usually does like monthly predictions and I wait for those. I really, really put a lot of money on those. (laughs) (laughs) Um, and she hasn't been doing them. So I've been a little bit sad about that feeling a little lost. So Jen, maybe pick up that slack. (laughs) No kidding. Jen, start your own YouTube YouTube channel every Sunday. Yeah. Oh my gosh. There's a whole, you know, TikTok. I mean, Sierra's on TikTok. I don't know if you are on Jen, 
but it's I, like I was, and then now I'm not. <laughs> I mean, it's a good and a bad thing. Instagram Reels too. Well, seriously, so, yeah. but people are on there doing like live reads. I mean, as I mean, I guess here you would know because as yeah. a, a influencer content creator in Canada, free. yeah. Oh, just froze a little froze. bit. There we go. She's coming back. I'm back. She's coming back. Sorry. There we go. As a content yeah. creator within Canada, <laughs> it's not really like there's no monetary like I don't know if there's a lot of it in that like to make it a business out of that but out of a hobby I don't know if that would be something that would interest you of doing anything like that I don't know I I used to post like a card of the week Mm -hmm. um back when I I had like an actually named business as well um but yeah something to think about I actually until this second hadn't hadn't even considered that maybe you should write this down yeah maybe you should write it down (laughs) We tend to just give a, people ideas. So reminder, no stop, ready to go. <laughs> and you know what? It, nothing has to come out of it. But what if in like a couple of weeks from now, you find that app in your phone and you're like, maybe there's something to this. Exactly. I love TikTok tarot. I always listen to them and I'm like, this was made yes, for me. Exactly. And I say it and send it to my friends and I'm like, look at this. I know. This pertains every my life and all this kind of stuff and it's crazy so I love TikTok tarot it's been definitely filling my yes. void is from that already a name is that TikTok? already a name TikTok tarot I don't know but if it is you heard it here first and it's mine <laughs> and it's yours like somebody I don't know Jen you can go ahead and take that that might be a good yeah one. exactly <laughs> it could yeah. just be Jen's TikTok tarot right I'm down for that I'm it's checking coming right together. now fun <laughs> because like tick, there's like um like the witch talk or whatever right but tick tock right arrow barrett i don't wait terror if not you guys have to get on this ASAP. guys oh my i think it's free hold on apparently like i don't understand oh where i'm sitting in like a hole with no internet <laughs> there's there's tick tock tarot Oh, there is TikTok tarot. There's quite a few of them as well. Oh, of course. But so. you know what? A hashtag will still get you there. Oh, and exactly. it can still be Jen's TikTok tarot. Exactly. Yeah. I love it. Okay, that's perfect. You got to do that. Yeah. I promote that. I love yeah, that. I claim that. that. I claim that energy for you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Love oh, that's it. so good. Um, so here, I did you. see on your Instagram, which I'll get you to promote at the end of the episode here, uh, that you did like an ask me anything. Sorry, my son is saying hello. Hello. Um, and, and he's also throwing potatoes he was throwing potatoes he found a bag of potatoes and was throwing potatoes and let's hi, not mommy. hi baby yep it's what are you doing potato. there he is what are you doing can you stop thank you bounce bounce okay bye um okay where were we you asked you had an ask me anything on your stories and it was like fun fact mm-hmm. i'm certified in reading tarot so now that you've like announced that are we yeah. gonna entwine that in your business practices yeah i think that was ultimately the goal in me thing like quite a few months ago before we actually even came together was like oh it fit well because I've had Janet at actually my vision board class and uh she did some tarot oh, readings nice. for some of the the ladies there and they loved yeah. it um and she's like well you know you could do this for yourself oh no and I'm like so then we we kind of did the class but yeah I'd hope to you know I'm kind of hoping you know as I move forward in coaching and stuff like th- that to use some of these now I know not everybody is obviously like likes that stuff and I'm sure you guys yeah, get that fair. as well um so it can definitely be you know an optional thing but um mm-hmm. I just felt like you know just like Jen after my divorce is when I really started getting into this too because like she said therapy focuses a lot on healing past stuff and it's like what do we have to look forward to in the future because that's what you're really thinking about right mm-hmm. as you're getting out of a terrible situation sometimes yeah. in mm-hmm. my in my case um and yeah, I just, I think it helps people kind of have some, some hope or some guidance for the future. I just really feel like, yeah, I just, I think it plays a huge role into that. And a lot of the things that I do and what I work with people about is yeah, just like building those better futures. So yeah. yeah. What I think really is interesting between your two stories. I mean, um, you guys both came to a point where you were like at the end of a chapter 
mm-hmm. into a season of rebirth, right. right? So it's like a begin again chapter is in front of you. And I love that this was like something that kind of aided in the beginnings. And even though you guys, you know, it's the same trajectory you could say, but like two different pathways of success. Do you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. A chair. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> So I think that's so amazing that you guys were able to take, you know, your situations and, and really like grow a brand new limb from, you know, from your past again, looking forward. That's fantastic. I really love that for you guys. One of the things I really liked about it is that it like, it intertwines. Like I am very much pro counseling, pro therapy. And a lot of times there's this misconception that if you're into carbs and Reiki, you don't believe in traditional medicine or counseling or right. doctor, like any of that. And for me, it's like, it's both. Like yeah. I would not trade the counseling that I did after my or anything. And I still will go like when I yeah. feel I need that check in, but now with the cards, like I'll pull things and it makes a lot of sense. Like I'll pull a card that says emotional healing. And I'm like, oh, you don't know me, but then yeah. I'm like, oh, no, you're right. I need to go to counseling. <laughs> yeah, you're right. right. Exactly. There's a place for everything. Yes. It doesn't have to be one way or another. There's a, yeah. there's a place for everything. Totally. Yeah. And Sierra, with one thing that you had talked to too, or talked to said okay. is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> that is, um, sometimes there's going to be people that don't always agree or are not interested in tarot cards, um, readings, power healing, all that good stuff. Um, but putting out the intention of just like, this is supposed to attract the people that need it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That'll filter already. The people that yeah. don't need to see it or don't want it, they're not going to even be looking at it. They'll, it'll yeah. completely yeah. miss them. Exactly. Yeah. Cause it'll even actually when I put that them. little yeah. poll out, oh my God, there's so many people interested in it and just Amazing. honestly 10 or less that weren't. So oh. like, you know, and like that. half the time I'm like, did, like, cause when I'm looking at the people that weren't, I'm like, really, you're not. So yeah. I'm like, yeah, I'm thinking they were yeah. like hit the wrong button. So you're totally yeah. right. Like, you, you know, when you're building a community and stuff like that, you'll naturally filter in the people that want to like vibe with yeah. what you're doing and stuff like and that. And I feel so. like that's a fear too, of just like, well, there are going to be people that don't like it and that's yeah. true, but there's that's also going to be people that don't like businesses in yeah. general. Yeah, person. totally. Or they don't like people because they don't get along with that yeah. person. Yeah, or they just don't like <laughs> Exactly. It's almost like life's well, algorithm. Like you know how yeah. like social media has an algorithm where you like one thing, then you're going to get a million different things. But if you see it in one aspect of your life, it may be what draws you to this, you know, whether you realize it up front or not. So I think that's so cool. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, I was going to yeah. say something else and I've lost it. Oh, um, no, it's gone again. No, it's gone. <laughs> it's okay. That's fine. It that keeps happens. going away. Keeps it's like, away. eh, no. Um, so yeah. we have briefly mentioned earlier, right before we decided to press the old record button that we'd love to talk to you both about what is something monthly that you do for like your own ritual, whether that is like a moon ritual or a self-care r- which which a what? A which oh, TM. That's, that's where we're at now. Ritual. That's where we're at now. I'm writing that <laughs> down. <laughs> I love that a monthly ritual. That's <laughs> my speech. That was, that was my speech good. path friends would be like Jess. No. <laughs> Cheerios. Sorry, it was all coming out. I had too many words and not enough like mouth to get them out. So here we are. What is something that you would do every month that can be conti- like just? That is something for you, whether that is a full moon or it is like releasing or a new, like whatever it is, what is something that you do every month? Do you pull for yourself? Do you pull for your family? Do you do Reiki on your family? Like what, what is something you both do? Um, for me, I will pull cards at the end of every month for the nice. following month coming up. And then I put the book away and I actually don't look at it again for the rest of the month. And then when I go to do the, the next month's reading, I'll look back and then like look nice. through and be like, okay, yeah, no, this makes sense. Um, so cool. yeah, I do that every month and then I'll do at the end of the year too, I'll do a full year reading for myself. Um, cool. I am behind on the self-care stuff right now. Um, which now that I'm saying a lot, I'm like, Oh, okay. I need to get back into this, but I would do new moon and full moon rituals as well. So for the new moon, I would do a grounding meditation and then write all the things I want to bring into my life, burn it. And then for the full moon, it was the opposite. I would write down everything I wanted to release and then burn it. And I can actually like, I feel like the energetic sludge when I don't do that. And I'm like a couple months of not I just keep forgetting or I'm like oh I'm too tired I'll go to bed and yeah Yeah. I like it builds up like once you get in the habit of doing these things you're very it's like Cairo 
Yeah. Like you're like, oh, yep. you did an adjustment. It's like energetic Cairo. Yeah. Absolutely. That's wow. So cool. Well, hopefully you'll be motivated in the next little bit to be able to. Full moon tomorrow. On so I am going to be on exactly. it. Yes. Yeah. Good. Very good. Amazing. I love that you're doing like your yearly like pulls. I was in like a, like a, a goal. You could say I had a goal of doing like the whole year's worth a variety of different decks. Cause I had like a, a, probably over a dozen decks at the time and then, um, doing like my monthly specific ones too. So I do like one for the year of each month. And then I was like, I don't know. I, I don't know if I did a full moon and I can't even remember, but it was so energy exhausting. I don't know how some people do it, but I think that's just comes with practice too. Right. Mm-hmm. Um, and you've had, you know, I guess it's what 2022. So you've had seven years of energy yeah. bodybuilding going on so that's and it fantastic. is still draining like the first week a couple weeks ago when I put out the call for any yeah. readings I got 10 people and yeah. I only made it through four on the oh, Sunday wow. night and I was like I'm done for tonight and like yeah. just being who I am as a person I was like so upset I was like oh my god yeah. I have to tell these people that I'm not going to do it tonight. And I know how it feels when you're waiting for a reading and you're like, ah, so I was just crushed, but I was like, I know if I keep going, I'm going to not produce the yeah. right reading. You're right. So, exactly. Yeah. Well, and you can put a cap on it. Like where, if you wanted to do like a call out every Sunday or whatever the case is, you can just say four people, max first come first serve. Yeah. yeah exactly it yeah. depends on what the reading is too like I mean I do find them all like somewhat energy draining but if there's a lot of heavy stuff like one reading can feel like five that, yeah fair yeah no kidding wow That's Sierra crazy. what about you what do you do monthly or do you have anything monthly yeah so I don't really do anything with my like I really just look to my cards when I feel like I, I need to. Um, I recently got like, I think Jen might have this deck. I can't, I don't have it right here, but it's like the yes or no, like the answering the questions one it's like purple and then gold, like yellow. Do you know what I mean? I'll send her a picture, but I'm pretty sure she had it at our reading. So I was like, Ooh, I need this. (laughs) You mean Um, this one? That one. (laughs) Yes. So I did find that on the buy and sell. Oh, did you see? Yeah, I did. I I ordered it ASAP. I freaking love this one. Yeah. So, um, like I said, I like listening. I really like to take in the information personally for myself. So the tarot priest was like, honestly, like a huge thing. I really love to do that. Mm -hmm. Um, so like I have been missing that, but like I said, TikTok has been taking that over and I get those like, Oh, one time, like your fruit for you page is scary. So like, I'll get like six videos all in a row, like leave this guy, do this thing. And it's like, I'm like, I don't want to hear this. I love red flags. I love it. <laughs> I'm like, get yeah. out of here, TikTok. Yeah, Quit telling go of them. <laughs> Stop it. Exactly. exactly. Um, oh my gosh. So I really just try to listen and take in information and use that to guide me to make good choices and um, you know, for the month and stuff like that. Um, I am an earth sign, so it's really right. important for me to ground myself and stuff like that. that. So I just often have visions of myself. I'm like, I just need to like stand in the grass or I just need to like lay down on the ground or something yeah. like that. Um, so some, I have been doing that. Usually when my kids go to their dads, like I'll take like a minute. I'm like, I just need to like go for a drive and like put my hand out the window, like, yes. like that to just reset. Um, yeah, and think about, like, sometimes the bigger picture, because for me, I get so tied into small, small things and it totally eats away at me. Yeah, and I'm like, fair. relax. Like we need to like relax is what I try yeah. to tell myself. Yeah. Um, I do a lot of self-talking. So literally just having conversations with myself has been oh, super powerful. Wow. Um, I'll like, especially when I'm spiraling down, I'm like this. And then I'll be like, I, this really sucks for you. I'm so sorry that this happened or, so good. um, oh, but this, this is what you can do. And it really does help because it's almost like you pull a part of you out of you. That's like the cheerleader looking at the sad decrepit woman standing in the kitchen crying over the dishes after my kids go to bed and my life is falling apart and it's like you literally are fine and often I try to think about things that um honestly are are worse off than what I'm dealing with which is sometimes really unfortunate one of the biggest things I think it was when um Kobe Bryant ended up dying Uh and I think and which was and his daughter and all of the, like, it was terrible. And yeah. I don't remember the exact year, what was going on. I almost want to say it was like either going through my divorce or like, a, it was something to do with the separation and the kids. So it was probably like a large bump. And I'm like, Sierra, like your kids are alive. Like all these, you know, think about what just happened when somebody else's life. 
So doing that, although it's like kind of shitty for the other person, but like, you know, for me, it makes me feel a little bit better in that moment, but also also recognizing things could be worse. Um, and then I've recently started dabbling into the Reiki stuff. So I've had a distant, not doing it myself. Cause I, I don't think I have that gift, but, um, having it, receiving it. So I've done a distance one and I remember <laughs> messaging Jen right after it. I'm like, uh, this is what happened. And I think I got taken for my money. <laughs> oh no. Do you, do you think was, you did? Well, no, it was a very well, oh. like, I'm not going to say her name, but it was a really well-known person. And okay. after speaking to Jen, because I just, I probably shouldn't have did a distance one for my first yeah. ever session oh, because okay. I don't un- understand. I didn't know what to expect. Okay. Yeah. But after I spoke, I reached out to Jen and I was like, Hey, I think I got bamboozled. She's <laughs> like, you didn't. That's <laughs> what you're And all this stuff is super, super normal. Yeah. And I was like, oh, right. I just paid $120 of my hard earned money for this. <laughs> for this. <laughs> this yeah. That's what it is. Yeah. Um, and oh. then actually on last Friday, I had my first it- in person one done. Ooh. Um, and that was really cool. I was like falling asleep on the table and like, it was, it was definitely a better experience. And me oh, personally, nice. I do need to be, I think an in-person yeah. um, I'm the same way. I much prefer it. Yeah. Nice. So I just remember like, yeah, I'm not going to do any of those distance ones again. I just, I don't know. Yeah. I didn't like, yeah, I realized the effects afterwards, but when it was happening, I'm like, man, I'm just sitting here eating chips, watching a movie. <laughs> <laughs> I know <laughs> really hard. Yeah, doing that. I didn't a distance. know what to do. Oh. <laughs> I like message this like, and I'm like, sit and uh, just be present. <laughs> like, yeah. it was wild. <laughs> like, was it I at was least like, a good movie? Like, <laughs> yeah, it was probably one of my anxiety. How did chicks did you have? I thought I just pissed one hundred and twenty dollars down the drain. Like, yeah, so. how to meet a guy in ten days. Yep. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, how to lose a guy in 10 days. Oh, is it? How to get, oh, come on. Yeah, you think you know I'm someone. Matthew McConaughey, so. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Bro, you can't go exactly. wrong. Also, so, going one was much better. Which one? <laughs> oh, that's good. In person. In person one yes. was much better. Not totally. that the other one was bad after I understood it. Yes. But yeah. just personally for me, and like I was holding on to two of the crystals. I can't remember what they were. And like they were getting hot. And I was like, yeah. there's yeah. magic coming out of me. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. In person. <laughs> and I could in feel, person for your first time can feel crazy. Yeah. And I it's just like feel the crystals on my head like pulsing. Oh. Wow. And I thought it was like a fake thing, but I could actually feel like a heartbeat in my head. And I was yeah. like, this is really weird. So cool. That is so yeah. crazy. Reiki is so weird is. and so yeah. cool. I love it all. Um, with your answer deck that you have, this one right here, um, you also need to get this book, which our uh, yes. audio TikTok. listeners can't see right now. Well, is it? Oh, okay. Well, I've got it on Amazon. Oh, no. Uh, but no. it's. I, I saw it on TikTok. Oh. And I was like, Brittany, you need this book. And like, I didn't want to like, get it because i'm gonna like end up giving it to her anyways i was like so you just need to get it yeah but like yeah it's called the book of answers by carol bolt and literally all you do is you flip until you find a certain page and then that gives you the answer to your question so like sierra think of a question in your head right now and i'm going to flip and that will be your answer okay Okay. so think of when you have your question just i got it i do you have to say it out loud okay so you don't have to say it out loud okay yeah This is definitely a Jen answer, but don't get caught up in your emotions. You know what I mean? <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> I'm like, what? Oh my gosh. Well, try my best. <laughs> <laughs> See, yeah, I, I don't like that answer, Sec. <gasps> Interesting. Oh, tea. Tell us. Got tea. <laughs> I well, I will use it for other people, but uh-huh. I don't like using it for myself in the same way I don't like using my pendulum on myself because yeah. I feel like I am so I get way too stuck in my ego and like yeah. what I want the answer to be. Like I would use that book as a choose your own adventure. Like oh. I would be like, hmm, okay, well, let's turn to page. Page 64 to see if you get the answer that I want. Right. <laughs> see this bag of goldfish. Look. <laughs> Look, it's Auntie. <laughs> Don't yeah, I remember you saying that about yeah. that deck when we were together. Yeah. Yeah. It's and crazy. like, I, I actually did use it for the first time on myself in oh, months. Oh, Brittany. Brittany. Brittany got kicked out. Hold on a second. Let's just see. She, oh my God. Hold on. Okay. 
That's okay. Here, I'm going to pause it. Sorry about the little blurb there, guys. Brittany lost some internet and we all kind of had to pee, you know, took our little break as we <laughs> needed to. Uh, so where we left off there, uh, Brittany did the book of answers for Sierra. Sierra was like, oh, it didn't, it kind of did resonate, kind of didn't, and that's just fine. And Jen, you were going to tell us why you don't love that book necessarily. Um, I just, with when there's like, yes, no, very specific, clear outcome messages, I get way too attached to it. Okay. So usually when I pull those out, it's because I have a very big question. It's not just a general like, oh, what should I know today kind of thing. Yeah. So then if it doesn't tell me what I want to know, I'm just like, I get pissed off and like, that's not the point of all of it. So generally I will only use those for, for clients and they always go really well for the clients. Cause I'm not attached to whatever the card is going to be usually. So yeah. Yeah. That's fair. I think with tarot as well, like I'm the same way. And I know like, even in like our class, I felt like I'm so much better or like more confident in reading for others than I am for myself. Because you had mentioned, even with like the pendulum, it's like, it's really hard. I feel like I manipulate that a lot. Like myself, <laughs> like I, you know, I can really, I can seek the answers I want and yeah. manipulate it how I want it to see. It's like, a, but that's, you know, Oh yeah. Back when I was single, I'd pull that thing out before I'd be going out for the night. I'm like, Oh, am I going to meet my soulmate on the dance floor at Hudson's? And like, I can make it say yes, but ding, ding, he wasn't there. Exactly. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) The dance floor at Hudson's. My goodness. What a time. What a time. Sorry, Brittany, you cut out. I said, that's asking for a lot of hope. Going (laughs) Going to Hudson's. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, right on. Uh, so yeah, why don't we just right, dig right into our card pullings here? So um, do we? Who wants to start? Jen has a deck, and Sierra yeah. doesn't have a deck. I have it. She went and found okay. it. We're good. Yeah. So then, if you guys want to do first, if you would like to pull a card for the collective, what do they need to hear this week? Yeah. Okay. I have one ready. So I use the messages from fairies so they Ooh. don't make this deck anymore, but it is one of my all-time favorite decks. And that's Doreen Virtue, correct? Yeah. Okay, perfect. Just so that our listeners can know what we're doing. Oh, okay. I feel like I'm being attacked. No. <laughs> <laughs> no just, every time I pull a card for others, I'm like, oh, well, this was directed at me. Um, <laughs> so I got walk away. Uh, so just all about leaving people in places that no longer serve you. Um, I know for myself, I'll pull this usually when I don't want this to be <laughs> the answer, but, um, <laughs> yeah, I, for me personally, I know exactly why I pulled this, um, career related, but. Ooh. Oh, okay. 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 But yeah. That- so yeah. And I, I know with this full moon too, it's a lot of release and, and yeah. clearing a path for, for new things. So this exactly. Makes totally. It ties in exactly to what we were just talking about is it's a fresh start. It's a, a chapter closed. Let's yeah. go forward. Right. Let's get away from that. Yeah. Sierra, are you ready to go? Did you want to, I don't want to put you on the spot. No, we- I did. Okay. I pulled one already from okay. the angel tarot cards by Radley Valentine. That was sl- hand selected for me by Jen. <gasps> yes. Her- yes. Special. This was actually the first deck of cards that I ever put my hands on. So <gasps> I've been watching, 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 but this is the first time I ever touched one. And I was like, Oh my God. Like I felt like I didn't know what I was doing, but I was around all you lovely ladies. Time. I know you do, right? <laughs> <laughs> you never, do. never um, do. And I picked the three of earth, which is interesting. Um, and it says the power of creativity recognition for very high quality work and be a team player. So what I noticed here, especially is there's a larger butterfly with a smaller one on top. I'm like transposed here, but um, I feel like moving forward, you need to kind of attach yourselves to people that are outside of your comfort zone, specifically yeah. moving um, kind of higher up. And I feel like it's very career oriented, this card to me, um, and attach yourself to people that are above you that you feel like are maybe out of your league, but you need to attach yourself to those people to be able to grow. And it can feel really uncomfortable. Um, and then specifically in, like it says the power of creativity. So I feel like in a creative way, like what's going to push you forward is your uniqueness and your creativity that you bring to your to your, your business or your venture or whatever it is that's resonating with you for this. So that's what I pulled. That is so crazy. Okay. I pulled my card already, but Britt, are you ready to go? Yes, I do have my card. Do it. And then we'll do mine. It's all good. 
Amazing. Okay, so I've pulled from Archangel Power Tarot cards, and this is also hand selected from the Amazing Gen. Um, I fell in love with this deck immediately, yeah. and so I was like, "Ooh, what have you got to say?" So I have the Knight of Michael. Um, so it's illustrating a powerful woman on a horse, and she's just getting ready for battle. The, the quick note is time to move quickly, choose logic over emotion and sudden changes. So the way I see it is like, get ready to move. Like at the action, the time's now. Yeah. So I like that. Yeah. I really like that. All of these are about like momentum and like, mm -hmm. I mean, I think a lot of it is career-based, but I think part of that is because, I mean, you ladies have made a business out of, I, I want to say like, you've gone from taken nothing and turned it into this like massive project that you guys have been so successful at thus far so I think that's really where this is all generating from but yeah mine I pulled a Scorpio so um for you gals you um, you haven't seen what I've done yet but I do the animal spirit animal spirit guidebook this is by Kim Kranz I'm her number one fan I love it so I've pulled the scorpion card so now this scorpion um it channels passionate competitive and like um those who tend to isolate. Um, this is actually a career card. I was just kind of doing some research here and it says um, we are like their career is very important to them um, as are a few select friends. But now this can, this can kind of come back to bite us because we tend to hold on to past events and keep that heat and keep that kind of it kind of tends to fester when we hold onto the shit from the back. So this is like our call to let go and move forward again. So when we're in balance, we're wild and we're free and we're fierce. Uh, but when we're out of balance, we tend to be resentful. There's unresolved issues or we're jealous. Um, so this call to action is start with honesty and forgiveness. So awesome. that's really kind of cool how that's like very full circle. And with Jessica's card, I, I, uh, deck here what the scorpion means and it's a lot of what Jessica has just said but it's you know in order for these changes that you're going through to proceed smoothly contain and control your temper and your passions um, period of uh, transformation so you will be releasing a lot of toxic habits and a few toxic relationships so mm -hmm. lots of change coming in hot I love that that's so good I like that they all married together very nicely uh, yeah kind of weird something's <laughs> due yeah exactly exactly i agree we work very well together yes so where can all of our followers just kidding we have four followers one of them is our mom yeah where are you so jen where what is the best way for everybody to find you to learn a little bit more about what they can do to you know join a class or to just you know spend some time with you where yeah can you can tell us about what you do too, <laughs> like what Little Wonders and um, Wonder and Whimsy events does as well. You're welcome to plug that here. Yeah, for sure. So Little Wonders, um, it is primarily children's and family events. Um, I have started kind of going into like fundraising and trade shows and more grown up events as well. Um, but kiddos and families is for sure always going to be the focus there. And then I'm opening a venue in September called Wonder and Whimsy Events, and it is going to be all the things. So whatever people want to rent it for, whether it's birthday parties, bridal showers, baby showers, photography studio, um, friends inspired coffee shop. I love that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And actually while we're sitting here, I was like, I need to do like monthly, monthly card things there. So whether it's like splurge club for reading cards or something like yes, that. Yes. Yeah. That's what we did. We did what well, we, uh, we did a, uh, not a tarot class, um, candle magic class over at Hectates oh. in Saskatoon. We did like a splurge, like, cause we're, yeah. we were part of one. It's over now, but people will jump on a great idea yeah, yeah. That's fantastic right. yeah yeah sorry go on I cut you off <laughs> oh, no. like, that's, that's all I got. yeah for sure and they can find you on Instagram yes so uh little wonders dot sask and wonder and whimsy dot sask awesome I love that for sure hit her up y'all uh, lots to do lots to like I love that you can take something like a little seed and it's just like oh you can do anything there I love it Perfect. and Miss Sierra Miss Sierra Jade tell me all your things <laughs> um, busy gal <laughs> I am busy um so yeah you could find me on Instagram at Sierra Jade Sierra has two eyes so I don't know 
if you want me to spell it, but that's okay. I'll um, link it in the show notes. <laughs> there you go. Cause people never know how to spell my name to begin with. Um, you know, I cover a lot of different things on there, but obviously my primary focus is always going to be body positivity and advocating for the plus size community. Always my number one goals. Um, from there it sparked the curvy club, which is kind of my secondary business slash community that we've really built to be able to actually empower, uh, people to come out and live their best life regardless of their size. So yeah, we host a bunch of events and who knows where that's going to go. We have a retreat coming up. Um, if you're in the, anywhere in the Saskatoon, maybe like an area coming up in August, uh, a weekend retreat to kind of dive in. Maybe, maybe I'll bring some tarot stuff. I don't know. Maybe I'll do stuff like that. I think that would be great. Yeah. Yeah. It's good. It's my, it's my first retreat. So I'm excited, um, for it. And then, yeah, some bigger, some bigger ones coming with some other, powerhouses in Saskatoon as well. So yeah. I love that. Oh, well, thank you both for coming. This was so good. A long overdue chat. That's for yeah, sure. Thanks for having us. Thank you. No, absolutely. Um, well, where, where can everybody find us? Okay. Well, they can find us on TikTok, Twitter. Wait, no, I, we're not on Twitter. The fuck are not on Twitter. Who is on Twitter? Who's on Twitter? Exactly. <laughs> well, Instagram is now Twitter. There's a right? no They're the same so. thing. There's like a whole thing now, right? Okay. So we are at basic bitches. Nope. Oh my God. This is so bad. Oh my God. It's looks cold. Guys, I have a cold. If you couldn't hear it now, you know basic banter for witches you can find us on tiktok you can find us on instagram you can find us on the youtube and you can email us at basic at gmail.com <laughs> so we hope you guys had a great time we did um and yeah we'll hope to maybe we'll have to do like a touch base later in the year and see where everybody's at in their their paths i'd love Absolutely. to have a follow-up that'd be fantastic yeah. right on earlier that you guys have done a vision board uh, class together maybe we will do a vision board podcast i'd love Ooh, that that'd be, that'd be great that'd be cool. totally i'd love that mm-hmm. our, our cards and creating what our next year could look like i love totally. that perfect well we'll pin that i love it well thanks right. so much guys um yeah we'll see you next i guess next episode next time i don't know all this right talk to okay. you soon Bye. Bye.